Hey guys, Cable here from Beatles Blog, and today we have a special, special presentation for you. We have Steve and Chris Duddy, and as you know, we've been covering the Pocaro documentary, and today we're going to get some important updates and find out where they are with the project. Steve, Chris, welcome. How are you guys? Good, Thank you. how are you? Good. Thanks I for having us. I understand there may be uh, some new footage or at least a new update coming out shortly. Yeah, we have uh, the current footage that we've shot uh, is with the editor, and we're going to put out a, a, a trailer within a matter of a couple weeks now. Great. And Chris, what's going to be on this trailer? Can you share? Um, well, it's going to be a bit of a teaser. Um, we're, we're not going to reveal too much, but uh, we do have some exciting new interviews that we've shot. Um, um, we've shot a lot of interviews now, and a lot of people are really want to want to talk about the Picaros and what they've done, and um, so it's pretty exciting. We're we're excited to get this teaser campaign going and some some key artwork going, and and uh, you know we're putting together a press kit and everything, so lots of stuff to show coming up. A lot of work coming up. Yeah, Steve, what's the next step in this process here? The folks want to know to actually get the documentary out there. Well, the reason we're doing the trailer is that. Uh, now we're going to go to private funding to finish the movie. Um, you know, everybody's been really gracious, amazing. I mean, the the musician community has been just uh, as gracious as it can be. And, you know, uh, everybody that we've asked to be in it, we've actually had people come to us and want to be in it that heard about it uh, because they want to be a part of it. So really, which speaks to me volumes about the respect that the Picaro family has in the music, music world. So... Uh, we're, we're just excited because, uh, you know, we really want to put this out there as soon as you can. But uh, I, I'm so new to this world of making a movie that uh, it it's truly is, you know, hurry up and wait is kind of the <laughs> what I feel that is kind of a, a true statement that he's always been telling me that that's kind of how the movie business is, is it, you know, it's always hurry up and wait. Um, I'd like to have it out tomorrow, but unfortunately, people's schedules... You know, um, just the work that goes into having something like this produced is is a lot more than I thought. So, uh, but we're excited and uh, real happy that uh, the response has been great so far. So we're just hoping that we can put something out there sooner than later and something that people will really understand what what this family is all about. So, now Chris, let's ask the pro. Chris, you've done this before. Um, you've shot documentaries like this. Have you been surprised by the reaction and the interest in this particular project? Um, yeah, a little bit. I mean, I, I think I knew going into it that there's a great story there. Um, and But the, like Steve said, the amount of, uh, of uh, the way people react when we either ask them to do an interview or, or uh, go and interview them, um, we've actually had to cut people off because they just keep, wanting to talk more and more, especially about Jeff. Um, he affected a lot of people in this industry. And, and, uh, but like Steve said, it's, it, you know, it, good documentaries take, take time, um, to nurture and, and put things together. I mean, there's a lot that goes into documentaries. Um, so we're just being patient right now and just, uh, you know, taking, taking it as it comes and, you know, putting it together. So shh. It's uh, but the response has been fantastic, you know, from everybody. Great. Yeah, Steve. So we can make sure we have the message clear to the folks out there, and they know what can people do now to help, if anything. Uh, actually, that's they. they pu the public can help, um, and the way they can help is if anybody knows of anybody that has a picture, a video, um, anything that that is archive of the Picaro family in whatever that format is. Like I said, either it's a picture that they have uh, behind the scenes video, because that's, that's where really the, the, uh, what's my, what am I trying to say? The uh, personal aspect of a documentary, you know, these interviews are great and the people are awesome in the interviews, but you know, you can't really put a documentary together just interviews. You know, you really like to see, you know, pictures and footage of, of the Bocaro family in various aspects of either in a studio uh, or behind, you know, backstage at a concert, uh, even some live footage that's, you know, unique. Um, that's that's what, now we're the next level where we need to go. We need to get people 
um, we're going to be hiring a, an archive producer, um, which that's their role is to go out and find that kind of stuff. But if, if the public has it, uh, it would be fantastic that, that, you know, they can contact us through our, our website, through our, our email. And, uh, you know, if we can start gathering some of that stuff, it'd be, it would be great, real helpful. Now, I guess we should say, since you mentioned it, people want to contact you guys, Facebook? Facebook, I have, yeah, we have a Facebook page, we have a, uh, a website, and we have, um, you know, an email address through the website. So, And I guess we should tell the folks, just in case they're not aware, what's the Facebook? Facebook is uh, Picaro, a band of brothers. And then the the website is Picaro Band of Brothers. We didn't put the A in there, so Picaro Band of Brothers, the website. And so, you know, dot com. Can, dot com. Yes. Sorry about that. Dot com. And uh, so, yeah, they can contact us through that. And, you know, so we're at that stage where we really do need to start gathering the archive. So, you know, Chris, I want to ask you from being in the film business. Someone asked me this question I thought was interesting to pass on to you guys. They said Jeff was so iconic and there was so much done about Toto. And of course, Joe is a legendary jazz drummer. Their thought was, what else can they tell us that we probably haven't seen because the family was so iconic and so out there? How would you respond to a question like that? Um, I think the, the surprising thing to me that what I'm learning when, when you do documentary, it's always like an investigation uh, kind of thing, but just how many different bands and, and artists that Jeff and Steve and Mike, but Jeff mostly, but how many different artists he, he played with and played for and did sessions with. I mean, it's, it's, it's staggering. And a lot of people don't know that. They think Toto and they think, mm, you know, maybe Boss Gags or Steely Dan or something, but it just goes on. The list goes on and on and on. Um, and Lukather too. I mean, they all, I mean, they, they influenced like a generation of artists and musicians and who they collaborated with and who they played with and who they recorded with and who they wrote with. And I mean, it's, it's, it's staggering the amount of, they, I, Luke, there couldn't even, he couldn't even round off a number of how many albums he's played on. He doesn't, there's too many to count. It's amazing. It's too many amazing. to count. Yeah. And that, that's the, that's, and, and, you know, the personal part of, of the story is that, you know, Jeff and Steve and Mike, they're, you know, the family, they're family guys. They were, you know, their, their family was really important to them. Um, their kids and their wives and their, you know, their families. And, um, it's just really great to see. I mean, you know, my brother and I are making this kind of as a family move, you know, together and, and making a brothers, making a movie about brothers. And, um, so it's really, it's, it's kind of, you know, it's a real personal journey for us. And, and, uh, you know, a lot of people just see these rock stars and musicians as what they are as rock stars and musicians. They don't know that they may not know or even care that they have, you know, family and kids and they, they like to spend time with them. And, um, and Jeff was definitely, you know, he was a he was a big family guy and, um, you know, and just that, you know, he died way too young and, 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 and how many people that affected when he died. And it's, uh, it's 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 a great unique story the whole just the whole family how they came here and and how they you know captured the industry the way they did you know now steve you know i want to ask you from a personal aspect because i know from talking to you a lot of the events you're covering you have a unique angle because you were actually there for some of the events most of them has anything come out in this process in the documentary so far where maybe you're looking at it now for a second time or you weren't aware of and you say i didn't know this this aspect was there this person was like that yeah, when I started, <laughs> when I very first started this journey, you know, a couple of years ago, um, there were things that I didn't know that, you know, some of the artists they worked with, I didn't know because, you know, you got to understand that, <clears throat> you know, they were, we were family and we would just get together on Sundays for Sunday brunch or Sunday dinner, uh, depending on the time of the year that, you know, it was either a dinner or a brunch and, you know, they would just come and just, you know, we would just talk about family stuff and, you know, hey, you know, would you work? It didn't really come up. You know, it wasn't like, you know, Jeff said, yeah, I got a few sessions this week. You know, it's a few sessions this week. Even when I sat down with Joe uh, and we we talked about some of the people that Joe, Jeff played with, he, he didn't even know. I mean, his own father, because it wasn't like he would come in and say, oh, this week I played with. He wasn't a name dropper. You know, he, he, he took his his 
job very seriously. He was a consummate musician. You know, I mean, he, he was always the first one at the session, last guy to leave. And that's what's, you know, we're finding out in the interviews too. And that, that's, you know, I, I knew that part about him, but I didn't really understand that how that affected the, the artists that he was working with, you know, how they respected that. They would come in and, you know, Jeff would be done with his track and he'd say, hey, can I hang out? You know, I want to see how this thing progresses, you know, how the song's going to develop. You know, after he did his track, he'd still want to be part of the song that he played on. And, you know, you don't know about that because, like I said, he would just say, you know, I, I had a few sessions this week. You know, he didn't tell you who he played with, you know, what what was involved. Um, and and Mike and Steve were the same way. You know, they, they would just, they kind of just lived it. And when we got together as family, it was family time, you know, hanging out with the kids and, you know, the parents. And it was just more personal time. Um, so that was what... I came to understand when, when I started doing this was uh, not only the amount of people he played with, but the amount of respect that he got from those people that he worked with. He wasn't just a hired musician. I mean, he was, I mean, that's, that's what they hired him for. But I think the reason now that I've taken so, you know, this journey so far is that the reason he got hired was not only was he, you know, one of the best drummers in the, on the planet, but he was also one of the best people on the planet. You know, they really respected him as a person first and his musicianship was just, that was a bonus. You know, it was such a bonus to have somebody that talented, and, but took that much time and effort to want to help their, their project and their song. You know, that was, and, and it's come out through everybody that we've talked to so far. Um, they all have the same thing to say about, it wasn't just about, you know, Jeff come in and lay down a drum track. It was, he took ownership of, you know, what he was playing on. Chris, from a professional point of view, if you could separate the personal, you've worked on a lot of major projects and you've seen a lot of major projects made. So you have an idea of when a story should be told. This one should be told, shouldn't it? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I've been, I've been with him for, you know, he's been married to Jolene for over 30 years now. And so I've been, I've been kind of flying the wall, not as much as him, but, um, you know, it's a great story. And I, you know, I love storytelling and, um, I've been thinking about it for, for a while now. And so when Steve called and said, Hey, you know, I'm, I really think it's time to do this now. And, and I was, I, I, I didn't have to think much, you know, about it. I, I, I came on board immediately because, um, it is a great story and it's a great family story. It's a great artist story. It's a great musician story. Um, uh, it's, it's inspirational, you know, what, Anytime a family comes from kind of from meager beginnings and do, does what they did, um, it's inspiring. And I think people, people should know the story about that, you know. Steve, last word out to the folks out there. <laughs> Either a, a, a request for help or whatever you want to tell them. What do you want to say to the audience? Well, I, I want to thank the people that did, you know, on our Indiegogo. I want to thank all the people that did contribute so far and has, have supported this project. You know, met a lot of nice people through the process, um, have come out of the woodworks and really want to support the project. I want to thank them. And I want to encourage other people to, you know, help us with this journey because, you know, I, I think it is a, a worthwhile story to tell. I think that, you know, uh, I could I could do a documentary about any one of the individuals and, and it would be a good documentary. But as a collective family, it's 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 an amazing story, really. So. Uh, I want to thank the people and then I want to encourage, um, you know, people to, to support us going forward. Well, Chris, Steve, I thank you for spending a few moments with us. I can tell from me and you both, you guys are very determined. And if I had to bet money, this thing is happening. Oh, yeah. Folks, Cable for Beto's blog, please support the documentary. You know how we feel about it. This is a story that should be told. We'll catch you next time. Thank you.